Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to get out there and take a look at the chicken coops and uh, we'll pick them apart and check the anatomy of them, see why we put them together the way we do and uh, what purposes they serve and how they protect the chickens. But uh, let's get out there and check them out. Alright guys, before we get into this video, I wanted to tell you, many of you know, Tina and I are both disabled veterans. Now we don't talk about that a whole lot, it's not what this channel is about, and we don't let it define who we are or what we can do, but I did want to tell you that you're going to hear it in my voice when I get out there moving around. I've got some lung issues, and it affects my voice, and it, uh, when I get short of breath, I'll stutter some, but... I hope you enjoy the video anyway. Please try to overlook it. Like I said, it's not who we are and it's not what we're about. But I did want to warn you because assuredly somebody will notice. So let's get into this footage and have fun with the video instead of talking about this. Today we're going to be talking about our chicken coops. We thought we'd bring you in close here. This is another one of our breeds. They are blue laced red Wyandots. But... Uh, I thought we'd give you a look. You'll see we have all three colors. We have blues and blacks and splashes. But uh, then big boy there in the back. But uh, he keeps a good eye on his girls. But uh, these are our blue lace red wine dots, and we're going to be talking a little bit about their home. So I'll cut this off and we'll go take a look where they live. Okay, I guess we'll start with the coop itself. The coops are Mennonite built. They are six feet by eight feet or 48 square feet. They got a big door on the back. They have roll out egg trays for picking up eggs from the outside. They've got two windows for ventilation on this side. And then they have another one on the other side. I'll show you here in a minute. But uh, we also get a little bit of flooding down through here. It doesn't get up in the chicken houses, but you may notice that the legs are staked down to the ground. So that our chickens don't float away in a flood. So that's the basics of the chicken house, and we'll get into a little more of the detail. All right, one of the purposes that the coops have to serve is the security of the chickens. And I want to show you here in these windows the screening that they put in there and how it's come away. And the chickens have picked at it, but those screens wouldn't have stopped anything. So what we did when the coops first arrived is we pulled all the molding off the windows and then we put in this half inch hardware cloth and uh, put the molding back on to secure it in place. But uh, we never did really trust the screening that came in the windows. They're just uh, too thin and too easy for something to get in there and we like to leave these windows open for ventilation for the chickens. Okay, and sadly, in these day and times, raising rare breed chickens, to, we sell the hatching eggs and stuff, but raising rare breed chickens that are worth a little bit of money, we have to worry about the human predators too. So all the coops are locked. We have a camera system that watches them, and uh, we just do what you got to do, but uh, that's the world we live in these days. Okay, this is the long window here on the other side of the coop opposite the windows and that's for they can get cross ventilation but we did the same thing here put that hardware cloth in there and then mounted it on the inside so that nothing could dig their way in this window here when we got the coops it's about the length of the coop but uh, when we got it it didn't even have screen in there I'm not sure how they uh, they figured that if it was thin enough a critter couldn't crawl through it or or what but uh, it certainly wasn't providing any protection for the chicken so we went ahead and put that hardware cloth in there and that's one other way we look after them okay another issue we have with raising chickens here in the south is the sun and they like to be able to get out of it so the sun crosses across the southern sky from east to west so this is the south side of the pen we put up a tarp we mount it to the fencing and uh 
it, it holds pretty well to keep it from back blowing. We've strung wires across it. You can probably see them there. And I'll back back out here. But this also is the predominant wind direction. If we have a storm, that uh, helps cut down some of the wind on them too. But it gives them a shady spot all through the day. Okay, another means of security for the chickens is that when we set these outside runs, we tilled up the ground and leveled it. And while that dirt was still bare, we laid hardware cloth, two foot hardware cloth, straight out from the coops on the ground. And we buried it a little bit, but it's laid out flat on the ground rather than buried straight down. And the grass has come back up through it and the dirt's covered it up. But uh, we know that underneath the edge of the grass outside the pen, there's hardware cloth protecting the chickens and it's nice that they will keep the grass cleaned up as far as they can reach through the fence. And that helps us um, keep an eye out for any signs of digging. A lot of animals can't dig through in a single night. So we watch for any signs of digging along here where the chickens have cleaned up all the grass. All right, I'm inside the chicken pen now and I've put the rooster away so you don't have to hear any floggings. But uh, I wanted to show you that the tops of our pens, we're looking up at the top rail, are done in wire fencing also. Um, if you see these two rails, this is how we have flat tops on our dog kennels. We kind of came up with this ourselves, but uh, the rail's going across the top, our top rail for chain link fencing. And then what we've done is bought the connectors let me show them to you there that's how they hook on both sides those connectors screw to the top rail on both sides and this wire fencing here this is a this is a four foot wide fencing if you lay it along the outside edges across then uh, lay one right up the middle they'll overlap by two feet in the overlap where they overlap is where we put these top rails and then we zip tie them on but we've not had a predator or a bird of prey or anything be able to get through that that's rubber coated wire it's pretty heavy gauged not quite chain link fencing but pretty heavy gauge and there's another thing we do with our chicken coops is uh, those are solar powered bug zappers they come on at night and they're off during the day so they're not a threat during to the chickens when they're out here in the pen but they do leave them a nice pile of snacks overnight since we are that weed line right there is the creek so the bug zappers don't have any trouble pulling bugs off of the creek and leaving a pile for the chickens to have a nice snack in the morning okay another thing we do is we have shade cloth over the chicken runs but i pulled the corner back here to show you that we have the run itself backed right up against the chicken house and it's got about a four inch eave that hangs out so we had to find some way to accommodate the door and we get a lot of questions over how in the world did you pass a door through a solid chain link fence and what we've done is this is the original door to the coop and it still works but uh i came from the chicken coop and I built a two by four frame around the door and then I made it four layers thick and that brought it out away from the coop is enough to accommodate that eave up there but uh, we brought it out four layers thick to the chain link fence we pushed the coop up against it and then we screwed this inside this is inside the coop this is outside the coop but inside the coop we went ahead and screwed the boards on and where that chain link fence was in between there we cut it out once we had all these boards to support the fencing. So the, we built out from the coop, came out about six inches, pushed the coop up against it, put these boards on the inside, and then cut the chain link fence out from the center. And we can still use the original, uh, the original latch and door from the coop. But and I apologize, they're dirty right now, and the rooster is not happy because I locked him in the house. But uh, anyway, that's how we passed our coop doors 
through a solid chain link fence. All right, one last thing before I get out of the pen and turn the rooster back loose is uh, I wanted to show you these natural branch roosts that we have for the chickens here in the pen. They really seem to enjoy them. We keep them, some go down to the ground so the smaller ones can climb up. And we keep other ones that they have to fly up to. But uh, that's one more aspect of the chicken coops. All right, guys, well, we just wanted to give you a quick look around the coops. And uh, let you know that they're uh, multifunctional. They go everything from trying to make them aesthetically pleasing to just trying to keep the predators out. All kinds of them, two-legged and four-legged. But that's how we uh, set up our coops. And uh, we get up here and do a little more talking here real quick. All right, guys. That's going to do it for today's video. We hope you enjoyed it. We hope you enjoyed looking around the chicken coops and how we put them together and why we do some of the things we do with the coops. But uh, if you enjoyed the video, please hit that thumbs up button and uh, leave us a comment down below. Just say hello. Your thumbs up and comments tell YouTube to show our videos to more people and we enjoy reading them and responding to everybody's comments. So uh, if you would, leave us a comment, hit that thumbs up button, and if you like the content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And uh, there's a little bell next to it. That'll, uh, you click on that. That'll send you a notification when we release new videos. But we've enjoyed having you here. Thank you for coming by. We'll see you guys in the next video.